you doing, wrestling fans? Welcome to NWA Worldwide Wrestling, live from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the countdown has begun. The action tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, just a few short hours. Box office opens at 4 o'clock today when the fabulous one, Jackie Fargo, puts his trunks and boots on one more time to team with the Colorado Kid to take on Jerry the King Lawler and superstar Bill Dundee. It's all going to happen tonight only in Nashville. Miss Stacy will also be in Lawler and Dundee's corner. You have Greg the Hammer Valentine with Miss Melissa Starr taking on from the United Kingdom, Gary Steele. All four Bad Street Boys will be in action. And we have some news about the Bad Street Boys. All four are currently negotiating with World Championship Wrestling in Atlanta. So if you want to see all four Bad Street Boys, you better get down to Nashville tonight. Also, they will be on that big card in Gallatin, Slam Jam 98 on June 18th. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's card, I cannot tell you enough about it. Going to be huge. I think there's 15, 16 matches. We keep adding another match every day. There's going to be a ladies, a cat fight, street fight brawl when Bobcat, and she is stunning, taking on Miss Angelica. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a night to remember at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds tonight. We will be crowning new NWA North American Tag Team Champions. Will it be the Bad Street Boys, Shannon and Shane? Will it be Ladies Night Out? Or will it be the dreaded New South? Only one way to find out. Show up. As I said, the box office opens at 4 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Fargo's hitting the ring, and I can't wait to see him punch Lawler a good one. You gotta see it tonight. All general mission tickets, just 10 bucks. See you tonight. Nashville, come on out and say hello to the fabulous one, Jackie Fargo, getting back in the ring tonight. It's tonight, Nashville. Tonight, just a few short hours from now. Jerry the King Lawler, the biggest star in the World Wrestling Federation, and Bill Superstar Dundee, together the greatest tag team that ever stepped foot in any ring, anywhere. Not just Nashville, but any ring, anywhere. And tonight, we're going to prove it. We're going to prove it to the Colorado Kid, you skinny punk. And we're going to prove it to the fabulous Jackie Fargo. That's right. I said the fabulous Jackie Fargo. He's coming from that big, fat, plush, easy chair in his home in North Carolina all the way back to Nashville, Tennessee. And what for, Jackie? You think you owe it to the Colorado kid? Or is it the fact that maybe you think you got one more big one in you and you'll be able to beat me at Dundee? Well, whatever the reason, Jackie, if you think for one second that the word is going to go out throughout the world that the fabulous Jackie Fargo came out of retirement and beat Dundee and Lawler, you got another thing coming. We got plans for you, Jackie Fargo. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in that ring one more time. And I promise you this, it'll be an unforgettable night for everybody in Nashville, Tennessee, but most of all, for you, Jackie Fargo. Stacy's got a big surprise in store for you. And so do I, tonight, right here in Nashville. <clears throat> Mr. Cameraman, up here. Jackie Fargo, I've heard all these stories about how crazy you used to be, what a lunatic you are. Well, if you weren't crazy before June 5th, when I show you what I'm going to show you, you will be crazy. It will drive you crazy. Well, this Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NWA Worldwide. I'm Lee Tidwell, and alongside me, Burt Prentice. Burt, it's just a few short hours to the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card. I cannot wait. Me neither, Lee. I don't know when I've been more excited. It's one of the biggest days in my life. And the second annual Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card, Jackie Fargo comes out of retirement tonight. But in the ring, ladies and gentlemen, there's Frenchie Riviera going into the corner. It's the Bad Street Boys against Ladies Night Out. Maybe a preview of the title contenders match tonight because we have Ladies Night Out and the dreaded New South. And the winner of that will take on Shannon Shaver. Look at that maneuver by Shannon Moore. 
Shane Hill's now down for the pin, and Shane Eaton in with the save. That's right, the winner of the New South Ladies' Night Out match, we're going to take on the Bad Street Boys. And look, they're lurking at ringside. Miss Angelica there, ladies and gentlemen, with her long auburn hair. Miss Angelica will be in the ring. I've signed an extra match. I've signed three or four of them. But Angelica, there you see her there with Shane. She's going to be in action against an absolutely oh. stunningly beautiful woman called Bobcat tonight. And I tell you, there's something for everybody tonight in Nashville, as you just seen Shane Helms. And here comes Shannon up but over. Oh, take out both ladies night out there down on the floor. Now Angelica can't do much when they're flying through the air like that. The Bat Street Boys in control. Almost took out the security staff of Gordon, Shannon, and Jerry. That, that wouldn't be too bad. Wait. <laughs> anyway. Well, let me talk. Did you see that interview that Stacy sent in this week? Oh, did I see the in Puppies. That's all I can say, puppies. Ruff, ruff. My gosh. And ladies and gentlemen, don't turn the dial. She has sent two more interviews in we're going to show you. And I'm not so sure one of them she has any clothes on. No, no, what? No clothes? Can, 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 we, can we see it now? No. Oh. I, what I can't wait for tonight is for Miss Elsie to take on Miss Sarah Lee. I, that is going to be utterly fantastic. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm rooting for Miss Sarah Lee, I, and I have a surprise for Elsie. I mean Savannah. Uh, Sarah, Miss Sarah now, she's got some spunk to her. She not, almost not barred out when Annie Marlin was the special guest referee, Bart and Colorado Kid. And speaking of Bart, Bart Sawyer and Chris Michaels in that fan participation match. What a match that's going to be. The fans are going to have leather straps. We're going to put eight fans around the ring. Give them leather belts, and if a wrestler's thrown out of the rings, the fans can have a field day. Style and Shane Eden, one of the most underrated wrestlers in the NWA, and I'm telling you, this kid's great. Marquee material and Frenchie Riviera, together they're called Ladies' Night Out. And I tell you what, taking on the Bad Street Boys, and there's Bad Street Mania going all over Nashville. There you see Miss Angelica, and they say she's a heck of a fighter, and we're going to see tonight when she gets in the ring with the Bobcat. Big Ted Sweet will be hitting the ring of Barnyard Briggs. James Storm will be in action against Blackie West in a rookie contenders match. And I tell you, the list goes, there's something for everybody tonight. Now, one guy that wants his revenge is Air Paris. When the Sex Pistols, he likes to be called now, David Young turned his back on him and just leveled him. And then press slammed him on the ropes right in the growing area. Uh, Air Paris is out for revenge. Yeah, that's going to be wild. We got some wild ones tonight. But the one that's going to pack the house, the fabulous one, Jackie Fargo. And I have never had so many people requesting press credentials as I, as I have tonight. Wild Magazine is going to be there. Pro Wrestling Illustrated is going to be. Inside Wrestling. The Wrestler. I mean, everybody is coming. There's a film crew from the United Kingdom coming tonight. There's a film crew from Channel 2 going to be there tonight doing a documentary on Lawler. I mean, so much media. This is bigger than a pay-per-view here in Nashville. And we, we're so excited we can bring it to you. But I can't wait, like I said earlier, to see Jackie Fargo twist it up one more time and just <laughs> KO Jerry Lawler because Lawler's who he's really going for. This has become real personal between Lawler and Fargo. Well, when Lawler and Dundee took on the fabulous one, Stan Lane and Steve Kern, they, they, they brought Fargo in with their interviews, just bad mouth and Fargo. Fargo caught on to that, heard the interviews, and now he's out for revenge. Jeff, do we have footage of that uh, fabulous one's Lawler-Dundee match? I'm a, if we have that, I want to show the people today on TV what Stacy did oh, at the Stacey. end of that match. You folks want to stay tuned. We're going to show you a little clip of what Miss Stacy peeled herself like a banana is what she did. Oh, yeah, Stacy, uh, yeah, banana. But we're going to show the fans, and this is how dangerous she is looking on the outside because she's such a distraction. Uh, yeah, and she's already promised to give Jackie Fargo a heart attack or a stroke one. I was screaming at Jimmy Smith to announce the winner, and he didn't even know who won the match because he wasn't paying attention. Wait, somebody won? Yeah. Shannon Moore now in control of Style and Shane Eaton. Just a big slam. Looked like he's going to go to the top now for a big moonsault. Shannon Moore is a big ticket wrestler, let me tell you. Nobody home here, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Jimmy Rivers and there. Style and Shane. He's coming up. Also, speaking of the United Kingdom, 
Gary Steele from the NWA UK is going to be taking over Greg the Hammer Valentine. Greg the Hammer Valentine has a new manager, Miss Melissa Starr, and I've seen her. You talk about top heavy. I tell you, we got something for everybody tonight. I, I haven't I haven't seen Melissa Starr yet. That's going to be a new one for me. Now, Frenchie Riviera getting tagged in, just kicking little Shannon Moore there. French Riviera is a big guy. He's been promising moonsaults. I haven't seen one from him yet. Frenchie Riviera gets Shannon Moore up and over. A Frenchie sits down, his life's over. Woo! Also tonight, I, I cannot wait to see Bobcat and Angelica. Yeah, me neither. But I tell you what, too, I want to, all the great fans down in Georgia, you know, we're becoming the hottest wrestling show on OTV 36 down in Atlanta, and I am so happy. But uh, NWA Georgia has wrestling this Sunday night at the Starlight Skating Center in Stockbridge, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, all you fans in Stockbridge, you're going to see everybody. Title matches galore. Air Paris, TV title match prodigy, French Riviera, Bart Sawyer, Rick Michaels, Tiger Khan, a battle royal. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This Sunday, a big card, 8 o'clock bell time, Stockbridge, Georgia at Starlight. We want to see you fans in Stockbridge this Sunday. Well, it's actually tonight. That's tonight in French Riviera calling for that moonsault now. Shane Hill. Whoa, hit Frenchy kick. right in the butt and Frenchy's down. Boy, his head went in the ring post. And Shannon's going for the cover. A count of three. Maybe a preview of what you're going to see tonight. The winner of this was a bad street, boys. But I tell you what, ladies night out are going for the gold tonight. Ah, oh, tonight, tonight, tonight. It's Smart Bart's night. Cause life is good. It's a fan participation lumberjack strap match with that whining, crying, sniveling Chris Michaels. You know, Chris, for months and months and months, I've heard you come out here and I've heard you say with pride that you are the greatest showman in the NWA. <laughs> You've been watching too many TV specials there, uh, Chris Michaels. Cause one thing about Bart Sawyer, when I come to the ring, it ain't going to be a show. Because you know what? All those inbreds are going to be around the ring. They're going to have belts. And you know what they want to do? Oh, they want to slap me with a belt. They want to do it. Well, there, there, there. There you go. There you go. That's as close as it's going to get. I beat myself harder than any of you could ever beat me. So that's fine. Line up around the ring. Because when it's all over, oh, I'm going to beat Chris Michaels to a bloody pulp. I'm going to leave him in the center of the ring, and my hand's going to be raised in the air. Lollipop high, because you know why? Tonight, and especially tonight, Smart Bart's got a plan. Because life is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Bart Sawyer, tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, Chris Michaels ain't known for doing a lot of talking, so I'm going to make this short and sweet. Tonight, Bart Sawyer, your ass belongs to me and also the fans of Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight, 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 Nashville. Yes, you get to see me, your goddess, Miss Savannah. Tear apart that old fossil that tears tickets at the door, Miss Sarah. I got something to say to you, Miss Sarah. Tonight, girlfriend, you've tore your last ticket. We're going to go back to May 1st here real quick and show you why there's a lumberjack strap match with the fans around the ring tonight. There you have Smart Bart against young up-and-coming star Chris Anthony. And this was a wild feud that went on for several months. There's that idiot Ernest T at ringside with that brick in his, in his bag. And always dangerous. And Bart here has been lacerated very bad. But we wanted to show you, ladies and gentlemen, the, the clip from this match because it was intense. That's right, Bart Sawyer and Chris Michaels. Friends for the longest time, Bert, and then the crowd seemed to turn on Bart and seemed to get Chris wanting to hit Bart, hit Bart. Well, it's Chris, Chris Anthony in the ring right now against Bart Sawyer. Chris Michaels not in the picture just yet. There you have that crooked attorney, Bart Durham, down at ringside. Oh, big, big leg, leg drop. drop. Absolutely, by Chris Anthony on Bart Sawyer. Not only a two counter, this was a tape fist match. Falls count anywhere, anything goes. And Bart Sawyer now goes outside the ring. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the fabulous ones against Lawler Dundee footage. And you don't want to miss Miss Stacy here in a few minutes. Don't turn that dial. Now Chris Anthony in control of Bart Sawyer, Bart Bladen. Now watch here as we go back. A capacity crowd here, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the stands as they go back. They are plumb full. We couldn't fit another person in them stands. And then... They're going back here now toward the bad guy dressing room. 
Chris Anthony there now has a chair. Balls counted anywhere in the Davidson County for this one, and the, the fists were taped on top of that. And uh, this was a wild one. There you see referee Jimmy Rivers trying to stay on top of the action. The fans there crowding around the aisleway there. Now Bart Sawyer goes back toward the dressing room, stumbles in. Well, sure, he's leading Chris Anthony back there. This is a setup. Well, of course it's a setup because right here, bam. And you heard it. Chris Michaels just nails Chris, Chris Anthony Michaels with the Chris Michaels absolutely chair. knocked Chris Anthony senseless. And the one, two, three for Bart Sawyer. There's Ernest T celebrating. As only Ernest T. Kane's probably already got a six pack in him. Going crazy there at the ring. Bart Sawyer's the winner there. But I tell you what, Chris Michaels, Bart Sawyer, Ernest T. What an unholy alliance that is. Oh, that is. Especially with Ernest T. around the ring, you never know what he's going to have. You have to give Chris Michaels the assist here on the victory for Bart Sawyer. Look at that crowd. Can you imagine there's going to be more in there tonight? This place is going to be packed and loud. Right now, Bart Sawyer getting back up in the ring. And what he's going back in here for, just like a NASCAR driver, he's going to want to go to the victory circle, the winner's circle. And Chris... Uh, Chris he wouldn't have won the match if it wasn't for Chris Michaels. Well, he got the assist there. Now they are all hugging. Oh, oh that's such a pretty hugging. picture. Oh, yeah, Ernest T. Ernest T. Love Fest. Now, see, here's where Chris Michaels that is makes the, his mistake, that is turns his back. And you never turn your back on Bart Sawyer, of all people. Bart Sawyer, you heard the chair shot and just bounce off the back of Chris Michaels, and not just once, not just twice, but repeatedly. Oh, my gosh. Chris Michaels, I'm surprised he didn't have a concussion or a broke arm busted ribs or something after this just beating by Bart Sawyer. Now, he's not even through here yet. What's this, Bart? I'm not sure if you, I know you were in the back. DDT on the chair. See, that, now I know why the intensity of Chris Michaels, why he's coming out tonight. It's not going to be no wrestling match. This is going to be an absolute fight, and the fans are going to be around the ring with leather straps keeping him in. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a couple of interviews we want you to watch right now, and that Stacy footage is coming up. Stacy. Don't forget tonight, Jackie Fargo in Nashville. When I signed this match with Jerry the King Lawler and Superstar Bill Dundee, I knew I wasn't going to be in a wrestling match. Not by no means am I going to be in a wrestling match. I'm going to be in a fight. It's going to be a battle from the start to the finish, and I can't think of a better man to have in my corner if I'm going to be in a fight than Jackie Fargo. Thanks, Colorado kid, for calling me. I appreciate it. I told you the last time I was in Nashville, if you ever needed me, here's some phone numbers you can get me. Well, you got me, pal, and I'll be glad. I'll be more than glad to come to Nashville. And I don't think probably you know me quite as well as the people surrounding me and all the fans and all the people in Tennessee. I think that they know that I'm the meanest, roughest, toughest, low downest, 14 carat, no good son of a sucker never hit the wrestling ring. Do anything to win a wrestling match. I hate a loser. Don't want to lose. Ain't going to lose. Thanks for calling me, kid. And I'm going to tell you one thing. We will do some butt kicking. Lord, you have done me. Macy, Hasey, Dick Tracy. Well, I can't get that name straight, but you better wear your chastity belt, because I'm going to jerk them drawers down, gal, and paddle that ass if you get close to me. That's not a threat. That's a promise. If I tell you, rooster dip snuff, you can look under the left wing and find a box of two brews. So I'm literally looking forward to coming and to wrestle. If you think this old time ring got a lot left in him, <laughs> oh boy, have I got a surprise for you, Mr. Laura and Dundee. See you. <laughs> Don't run off, Laura. I ain't done with you. I'll jerk a knot in your behind that you can't get out, Pally. Oh, Jackie. Jackie Fargo. You know, I'm just lying here in bed thinking about June the 5th. And I was wondering, is your life insurance paid up? Because when you see my body, it's to die for. June 5th, that's right, that's tonight. Stacy's gonna be at the fairgrounds, Bert. And in this video, at the end, it's Stacy. I hate to say this, but she's a tramp. She looks good. I mean, yeah, she looks phenomenal, but doggone it. She well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the match we told you we were going to air part of. 
The fabulous one, Stan Lane and Steve Kerr. This is from Star Wars 99. They're Stacy. I know they're Stacy. Against Jerry the King Lawler and superstar Bill Dundee. And for you fans that were there, you know what's going to happen. For you fans that weren't, we're not going to tell you what happened, but you're going to get a preview here in a little bit. <laughs> so you do not want to change that dial because let's just say she's going to peel like a banana here in a few minutes. But I tell Puppies. you what, Stacy will be there tonight. There's really a huge influx of females here at NWA. You got the lovely Angelica. You got Melissa Starr. Well, you, you, got got that old, you got that old heifer, Savannah. She don't count. But then you got Bobcat, who's absolutely knocked down gorgeous. And then Miss Stacy. Of course, you got Miss Sarah Lee, too. Uh, well, S Sarah's uh, she, she's a nice lady. She helps out at the ticket booth and stuff. And going to take on Savannah. She's my guardian angel. She makes sure them people don't sneak by her. I'll tell you what. No one no one sneaks by Miss Sarah. To the ring. And there, Stan Lane just kicks Dundee down to the, down to the mat. What a night this was. And hopefully tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it will be even a bigger crowd at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena when Jackie Fargo comes to Nashville and he says he's going to pull Tracy. What's her name? Stacy. What's he call her? Tracy Dick Tracy. He's going to pull her <laughs> shorts down and spank her bottom. And if Fargo said he'll do it. He Fargo's going to do it. Unbelievable. In the ring now, Stan Lane and Jerry the King Lawler. Lawler. From the WWF team and with Bill Superstar Dundee taking on the fat. This was at Star Wars, a capacity crowd, Bert. I tell you what, over $4,000 in ticket sales already in for tonight's show. Of course, we're hoping we beat the record tonight in Nashville. Uh, I know my good friend Jerry Jarrett's pulling for us, and I think we really got a shot tonight for the big Tojo Yamamoto Memorial card. You know, in a lot of matches, there's so many matches we haven't been able to talk about. The young James Storm against Blackie West. Barnyard Briggs and Ted Sweet. Fran Boy Fran Fox is going to be there. we got ladies. Just a brawl that one's going to be with uh, Angelica and Bobcat. we got Air Paris against David Young, the Sex Pistol. What a match that's going to be. We have from the United Kingdom, Gary Steele against Greg the Hammer Valentine. we got the Spellbinder with Kid Wicked against the Bad Street Boys, Christian and Joey. We have uh, Style and Shane Eden and French Riviera against the dreaded New South. Bart Sawyer and Chris Michaels and the fans are gonna be lumberjacks with leather belts. Woo! I'm glad I'm not in that one. You got the Inferno Kid trying to get the TV title away from Prodigy. I mean, top to bottom, this is absolutely the biggest card I've ever promoted. And I tell you, we're celebrating here at NWA Nashville. And the Stan Lane, they're kind of taking it to the king. Uh, Jerry, the king, all of the I wish Stacy would do that to me. Ooh. Oh, boy. Call the match. Anyways, I, I hope Bill Dundee don't do that. Jerry, the king, all in the ring with Stan Lane of the Fabulous Ones. We're going to together the Fabulous Ones in the early 80s. They were a phenomenal tag team, Bert. Yes, they were. In fact, they were on one of the largest houses in Nashville against the Sheep Herders, but we're going to beat that record tonight. Also tonight, I, I can't wait for the contenders match. Ladies Night Out in New South, the winners take on the Bad Street Boys, Shannon and Shane, for the vacant NWA North American Tag Team Championship. That's right. We're going to have some new tag team champions tonight. Uh, I t there's just so much on this card. It's just unbelievable. Jerry the King Lawler being backed into the wrong corner there. Steve Kern kind of helping his partner. Uh, Lawler out move, of the way. But Stan Lane just a little smarter. A double fist there. Lawler now down. Jimmy Rivers the ref. Not, look at him crawl like a little dog over there. Don't forget, too, all you fans in Lebanon, Tennessee, will return to Lebanon on Saturday night, June 19th, at the Lebanon National Guard Armory over in Lebanon. Then the night before that big one, all four Bad Street boys will be in Gallatin at Thompson Park under the stars for Slam Jam 99. Uh, Jimmy Hale going to do a great job promoting that one out there. Brian Christopher will be in Gallatin. Brian Christopher now, yeah. Brian Christopher and the Spellbinder used to be the NWA North American Tag Champions before losing the belt back to the Tennessee Vols who vacated the championship. That sets up tonight. There's Miss Stacy at ringside. Very dangerous. Wearing oh. some tight fit and blue jeans. Dangerous the curves side. there. Dangerous curves. That's absolutely right. Kind of like some of the streets in Nashville. Anyways, superstar Bill Nandy in the ring now with Stan Lane. Looks like Stacy handed Lawler something there with a cuffed hand. Well, I'll tell you, there's some legends in the ring right here, and there's going to be some legends tonight. 
when Jerry the King Lawler, superstar Bill Dundee, and Jackie Fargo. <laughs> Talk about fireworks a month early. Well, Colorado Kid and Jackie Fargo teaming. I know Colorado Kid knows him, but I don't think Jackie Fargo is all there. Is Colorado Kid going to be able to be, you know, a fluent tag team with him? Stacy's got you kind of Twitter painted here. Today. Every time I see, especially when she, those jeans, who me. That's good. I don't ever have to pay you when she comes to town. You always volunteer to work. Oh, that's fine. I'll work anytime she comes to town, Bert, for free. I'll pay you to let me come in. I'll even buy a ticket. Whips Dundee across, but nobody home. Dundee stand there, and that's a stretch you'll see tonight. Fargo originated it. <clears throat> Dundee now in trouble. Stan Lane still in the ring. Dundee complaining because he kicked. That's a legal kick. I don't, Dundee always complains about everything. Yeah, well, we got to pay some bills here. We're going to take a 60-second break. You will not want to change this channel. Oh, no, you won't. We'll Fan be back right after this word. Stacey. Fans, welcome back to the action. This is Lee Tidwell alongside me, Burt Prentice. The match in the ring, the fabulous one. Stan Lane and Steve Kern taking on Jerry the King Waller, Bill Superstar Dundee, and Miss Stacy. Stanton looking very fine down there on the floor. Yep, tight blue jeans and all. Over 1,000 people came out to the National Fairgrounds this May 1st for this big card. Of course, I really believe we're going to break that record tonight. And, um, I sure thank Nashville for supporting NWA wrestling. That's right, tonight, Jackie Fargo and the Colorado Kid to take on Jerry the King Lawler, Bill Superstar Dundee, and Stacy's going to be there, and Burt, she's promised some surprises. Well, you know, with Stacy, Dundee, and Lawler, you got three of the dirtiest players in the game. I know Ric Flair likes to say that, but I'm telling you, I've been around these three for the last 10 years, and I can tell you there's not three dirtier folks when it comes to that squared circle than these three. Also tonight, the TV title match between the prodigy, T.J. Gray, and the Inferno Kid. There you see Stacy choking Stan Lane there on the ropes. Stacy, always the third element outside the ring, double dangerous. I'm glad I'm not taking on Lawler because I'd be looking at Stacy. They would just, I'd, I'd let him pin me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Lawler now in control of Stan Lane, just putting the boot to the throat, choking him there, taunting Steve Kern, trying to get him to come in. Lawler up on the second rope, comes off, big forearm to the head. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Donna will open the box office at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Last time... During Star Wars, there was a line outside the building at 4.30. Avoid the line, ladies and gentlemen. Come by, get your tickets early, and make sure you get some good seats. General admission tickets, just $10. And I'm telling you, $10, I tell you, what a cheap price for all the action you're going to see tonight. Well, also at Star Wars, Bert, the card started at 8 o'clock at 8.30. There were still people trying to come in the door. They missed the first half of the first match. If you want to see... The Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card, the whole show. You need to show up early, buy your tickets, get your seat. You're not going to miss any of the surprises. Jerry the King Lawler, superstar Bill Dundee. With Stacy. With Stacy. Stacy on the floor. That's Stan Lane on the floor. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, also tonight, I, more women. <laughs> I love this. Bobcat to take on Angelica. Cat fight. And Savannah. We got, uh, Bobcat's going to take on Angelica in a cat fight. And Melissa Starr. Oh, yes. Now, Melissa Starr. You've told me some stuff about her, but I'm waiting to see this. Pretty girl. You'd be impressed. Going to be with Greg the Hammer Valentine, I believe. Very dangerous individual. Taking on Gary Still out of NWA UK. Now, didn't he have a world title match with Ogawa down in Georgia? What an incredible night. I want to say hello to all the folks down in Conyers, Georgia. What a huge night that was. And uh, I look forward to doing that again next year. Thousands and thousands of people. That Georgia, I tell you what, Loganville's getting on fire Thursday night. They had a capacity crowd last Thursday at the uh, Georgia Bell uh, Free Market Expo Center. And, uh, of course, the big one coming up in Stockbridge. This Sunday night, well, actually in Georgia, they'll see this Sunday morning, so it's tonight, actually, when you see this in Georgia, in Stockbridge uh, at the Starlight Skating Center. I mean, it's the parade of champions. There's the pile driver. Nobody does it better than Jerry the King Lawler, and it brings the people to the feet. Well, Lawler, now, he did that to Andy Kaufman, I believe. Put Kaufman in that neck brace. That's a dangerous move, especially the way Lawler does it. Lawler is lethal with that pile driver. You know, they waited for over 15 years for this match. 
And the Nashville fans got it. Not Memphis, not Louisville. Nashville got the match. Well, Nashville fans deserve it, Bert. Look at the capacity sure crowd in Star Wars. And, and, and that's why, like when a lot of these idiots start throwing these rumors around about Nashville wrestling this and Nashville wrestling that. I mean, we are the hotbed of independent wrestling of the whole world. Well, just look at what happened with the Bad Street Boys. Well, the WCW monitors our show. The World Wrestling Federation monitors our show. And we absolutely have the stars, the big marquee players of tomorrow. We know that. And this is the only place they're going to come get them in Nashville, Tennessee. And as long as the fans keep supporting us, we will be here. And the fans have never let me down. And that's why I hope we never let the fans down. Now there's Lawler handing something to Stacy, who's cheerleading on the side. Go, Stacy, go, go, puppies. Come here, puppies. Puppies, puppies. What are puppies? Uh, well, hers are pit bulls. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jerry the King Lawler, Stan Lane, Bill Dundee, was in exciting action, and it was only at the mecca the Nashville Fairground Sports Arena. Well, sunset flip there by Stan Lane with the cover. Jimmy Rivers, the referee, out of position. He's got him down for like a 10 count. Here comes Stacy through the ropes, pushes him off. Dundee knocks him out. They could have had the win off. She's raking his eyes, putting them nails in her eyes. She can scratch me with them nails anytime. <laughs> Bill Dundee now in control of Stan Lane, stopping the back of him. Jimmy Rivers, the referee, not saying much. R Rivers, now, Kurt is a very good referee. I like it when Kurt referees. He calls stuff right down the middle. R Rivers needs glasses. I think he's drunk half the time. The tag to Jerry the King Lawler. Stan Lane needs to make a tag, too, and get a fresh Steve Kern in the ring. But Lawler taunting him and stopping Stan Lane from getting over to make the tag. Well, Fargo, considering he got together, Stan Lane and Steve turned to throw Well, with the Fargo, out. the rule book's going to be thrown out. We don't even need a referee tonight with Jackie Fargo because he's not going to care. He has nothing to lose. Oh, that's true. That makes Lawler dance a little bit. Let's there. hear him on Monday night now. And here we are again. But I tell you what, Jackie Fargo has nothing to lose and everything to gain because, like Lawler said, if he can go out and 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 say that he beat Lawler and Dundee in the year 1999. Whew. Oh, that, that'll make Fargo's millennium. Unbelievable. That will be bigger than the year 2000, I'll tell you what. And Fargo Whoa. really has something to prove. And I tell you, the, the Colorado kid, who, by the way, is a new daddy, we want to congratulate him on the birth of his new baby daughter, Caitlin Alley, four kids now. He, I still ain't going to give him a raise. The Colorado <laughs> kid, a new daddy, he'll be celebrating tonight but Colorado kid knew when he asked Jackie Fargo to come to the the National Fairgrounds you know, the Fargo would not let him down you remember Fargo left Wolfie D totally knocked out just about a year ago here at the fairground yeah I remember that now Jerry the King Lawler in control of Stan Lane just oh, oh my gosh right in the ribs Dundee there again one the of the players. dirtiest players Dundee with the chair to the ribs, midsection there of Stan Lane. He is now down. Might have a broke rib or something. I'm not quite sure. And there's Stacy standing down on the corner. Nashville wrestling fans, I've always said, the luckiest fans in the world because they get to see the, the top action. The oh, wrestling. Dundee. Shouldn't have put that chair up that time. It's a reversal. Lawler now head into the steel chair. Stan Lane desperately needs to make a tag to Steve Kern, get the fresh man in. Bill Dundee's out on the floor. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to jump up in the ring. Stacy got his speechless. I, Stacey, I don't know what Stacy's doing. I just like it. Oh, tag out to tag. Steve Kern. Here he comes. Bam. Kick. Bam. Boom. Bam. Bedazzled. Down again. Sounds like the old Batman show. Here he goes. Ramming the head. Dundee's not tall enough to hit the top turnbuckle. Had to go to and the middle. But on Jerry the King Lawler. Steve Kern taking him to town. Has Lawler in one corner. Stan Lane getting Dundee in the other one. What? What? what what's Stacy doing? Music. Stacy says, "Hit her music." <laughs> well, that's appropriate music. <laughs> <and stickers. Did> you? <laughs> She's taking off her shirt, Bert. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> if you want to, sit, fans, she's promised more tonight at the fairground. She promised to give Fargo a heart attack. I'm about to have one I right here. I want to stay on the air. Cut the. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWA Worldwide. I'm Lee Tidwell, alongside me. Lee, Bert. lock the door. There's Ernest. Yeah. Lock the door. Up. Oh, what do you want? Bert, read this. Read what? Read that junction. It's a junction. Read it. <laughs> I'm hurt. I can't read. Well, I'm hurt. You're here, too, Ernest. It's Watch the buttons. 
It's a medical. You don't have to wrestle because you have a hurt back. I got a hurt back, Bert. How did you hurt your back? I don't know, but my back's hurt real bad, Bert. I barely can drop down here. Now, Ernest, don't be trying this. It's a good show tonight. My back's hurt, Bert. So you're saying this injunction looks legal to me. You don't have it to wrestle. It is legal. It's legal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ernest, if you could see in the studio right now, Lee, call the match. Colorado Kid and Big Ted from Ernest. Big Bulldog there by the Colorado Kid. Ernest T. at ringside, Kurt the referee, holding Colorado Kid back. Big Ted Sweet out on the floor. I, I didn't know that Ernest was that bald. <laughs> they a glare when the lights hit it. How'd you hurt, hurt your back? Driving around or something? Uh, I hurt my back driving on to Nashville. I'm having to... Wear a band aid or one of them <laughs> things you hold you back in place. What? Bert, it's, it's not funny, Bert. It's me. You hurt your, your uh, back well, on a Nashville street? Yes, sir. That street was rough. Real rough, Bert. What street? Spitz Lane. <laughs> I can't believe how rough these Nashville streets are, Bert. And you want me to travel them every week with you. Wait a minute. You, you hurt your back on Spence. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just. Bert, I think I hurt my back on Spence Lane. My back is really hurt. I, what, I, is, what is on Spence Lane? The bumps. <laughs> Bert, they are rough. I mean, they are rough for my bald head. Lee, I can't take this. You, Colorado. You got to, Lee. You got to believe me, Lee. My back is really okay, hurt. Okay, just don't touch me and we'll be okay. Colorado kid. But I need this. some help. <laughs> I need some help. Do we know he that. Needs some help from everybody. Please help me with my back. Colorado's got him. No. Because we just dropped him down on his back. Ernest, I know this therapist can help. Let me call for rematch at a later date. <laughs> my back is. Well, according is, to this, I'll be sued if I put you in the ring. And I don't want to be sued, but uh, I, you, you hurt your back driving over a bump on Spence Lane. I think I did. You need to call the mayor and get the pothole fixed. What something. can the mayor do about it? All the streets are rough at night. As far as I'm concerned, my old truck just bounces around and around. Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I need to go to a break and recompose ourselves. We'll be right back after this word. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWA Worldwide. I'm Lee Tidwell alongside me, Burt Prentice and the menace, Ernest T. In the ring, the Colorado Kid, who tonight will be teaming with Jackie Fargo to take on Jerry the King Lawler, Bill Superstar Dundee with Stacy in the corner. You know, we're about 30 minutes into this match right here, and both competitors are weary. They are tired. Colorado Kid, Big Ted Sweet was a great match just a few weeks ago in Nashville. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this will be your last chance. Get your tickets. Box office opens at 4 o'clock tonight. See Jackie Fargo. Oh, Ernest, put your hat You see me? There. Yeah, I see you. Me, 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 me. It's Ernie D. Spot that mosquito, Ernest T. Ladies and gentlemen, Colorado Kid will be there tonight with Jackie Fargo and Please Jerry Lawler. Back. Bill Dundee. Nothing like action at the That's fairgrounds here. Colorado Kid going up top, Lee. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here, Bert. I haven't seen this match. Colorado Kid off Bert, the top rope. Mosquito. Sunset flip, one, two, and a three. Count your winner, Colorado, Colorado Kid. Colorado Kid, see you tonight, Nashville. Nashville, me, me, me. 